So today, me and Mona, we cruising around, we talking about rocks. Okay, we talking about rocks. Because there's a lot of, <clears throat> there's a lot of rocks in the landscape. Mona, show them the rocks. Show the people how many, how the rocks just everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, the, the rocks, okay? The rocks, okay? And that's just a natural um, uh, factor of, of the universe, uh, 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 of, the, of the planet. Uh, I'm sorry, is that uh, we're living in a, in a planet with a lot of rocks, okay? And, uh, and there's some funny things about these rocks, okay? Because some of these rocks, they're worth money, okay? Some of these rocks, is, they're worth money, okay? So not too long ago in the scope of things, there was an old, old dude out here called a prospector. And he's looking at all these rocks. And he's not seeing the natural beauty. See, me and you, we can look out here, we say, oh man, that's natural beauty. Okay, that's a natural beauty, and we like it. Okay, but the prospector, he doesn't see natural beauty. He sees, he sees rocks, and he sees money. Okay, so he's, he's looking for a place where he's going to get him some money, uh, digging some rocks. Okay, but he's not even going to dig them. He's just going to claim them. The prospector, he don't dig. Okay, the prospector says, hey, that's a mighty fine rock. That's mine. That's mine. He files what's called a claim. Okay, and this is crazy because this is this is still the system that we're living in. Okay, you, you can still you can go out and make you a claim. Okay, on on public land, and then you say, hey, this is my rock. And this is mine. Okay, and that's what you say. But uh, but see, when the prospector does it, what he's doing, he's going to sell that claim. He's going to sell the whole claim. He's not even going to develop the mine. He's not even going to... He just finds a rich dude, some rich dude somewhere, with some money. <clears throat> and, then, and then he says, hey, I know where the gold's at. I know where the rock's at. I know where the turquoise is at. I know where the chrysocolla's at. I know where the lithium... Because that's a new... That's a new rock. And that is going to be the new... That's the new... That's the white gold rush, baby. It's lithium. Okay, so now there's prospectors out here right now. And they're not seeing the natural... Because we've seen the natural beauty. We've seen the natural... We love it. We like the natural beauty. But the... But the... But the... The lithium prospector, he just sees lithium. And he sees lithium. And he takes it to a lithium company that makes ion batteries. And he says, I got a claim. I got a claim. I sell it to you. Okay, and it makes a lot of money. And then the minor guys, the rich guys, they come in, and they just, they just dig it all out. Okay, they dig thousands of pounds of rocks. Okay, so many rocks. Blowing up rocks, dynamite, moving rocks around with big machinery. Okay, that's what we're talking about, rocks, right? But, but some of the rocks, like I said, they're worth the money. Okay, and then we get into the special, okay, so here's a specialized, this is what I'm a little bit specialized in, is a <clears throat> special kind of rock called gemstone okay a gemstone and when a gemstone <clears throat> sometimes a gemstone has got a lot of color in it sometimes it's real hard so when you cut it it takes a nice polish okay so you cut you polish these gemstones all of a sudden these gemstones they're worth a lot of money okay and that's an amount of money okay so 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 you know that's part of how i'm, I'm making my living Okay, is is the real deal? Is that I go out there and I find I find some of the gemstones. Okay, and I dig them up a little bit. I dig up a little, and then I take them, and then I sell them. Okay, and then I make money. But um, but see, that makes me it feels a little weird, right? Because I'm going to these these beautiful like right now. Maybe I'm looking for for rocks. But look at this. Look at this. This this whole this is beautiful. You know, it's beautiful. So am I gonna Am I going to chop it up? Am I going to find that beauty, wander around out there, find the beauty, and chop it up, and then I'll take it and I'll sell it, and I'll make a lot of money, okay? But I don't know what I'm saying. You know, uh, a dude, I need a little bit of money, okay? I need I need some money, okay? I live pretty cheaply, uh, but I got a vehicle that takes gasoline that takes money, okay? So how are we going to make the money? If you're just wandering around out here looking at rocks, well... Some of the rocks, like I say, you pick them up, and you make a little bit of money. Okay, but eh, it's not a great, it's not a great thing to do. Maybe in the scheme of things, in the, in the, in the, in the world. But, but listen, I gotta make some money somehow. Okay, and everybody's saying this. Everybody's saying, well, listen, I gotta make some money somehow. Okay, but here's where things get complicated. Okay, here's some complication, if you will. Uh, or uh, and uh, <clears throat> some rocks. Um, uh, some rocks, 
They're worth some money, and they ain't, they ain't places that uh, there's poor, poor countries, okay? One such country, Madagascar, okay, is an island. Look it up. It's on, off the, the east coast of Africa, okay, east coast, Africa, Africa, A. And, uh, and what they got in Madagascar, okay, whoo, they got some nice rocks, okay, they got some nice rocks. I got, I got a Madagascar rock in my pocket, okay, they, I don't know what you're going to see. You see, is that shining in the sun just so, is that, can you see the, okay, so that's called Labradorite, Labradorite, because the, the, the Europeans, they first discovered it in Labrador, and it's a special rock, because it is Chetoyan, it refracts the sun down in it with this explosive color from inside, and that's some wild shit, okay, that's wild shit, the people in Labrador, uh, okay, they, not Madagascar, Labrador, um, they have this rock there, too, and then people there, they saw this, because that's high north country, okay, that's north, and they got a northern light, okay, and they see this, they see Labradorite, they're saying, this is a northern light trapped in stone, and we mine it to set it free into the world, okay, and that's pretty cool, okay, that's people appreciating rock, okay, and then, and then, some other people, the Europeans, and the people with a little bit of money, they're saying, hey, we can sell that, we can make a lot of money off that, okay, and then, okay, then, they find a whole bunch of this Labradorite in Madagascar. Okay, and not just Labradorite. They find they find beryl, they find sapphire, they find rubies, they find aquamarine, they find emeralds. Okay, and they find and they find rose quartz, and they find it smoky quartz and quartz crystals, and they find it uh, fossils. Okay, little fossilized ammonites and all this. And it's Madagascar is just a they call it a treasure island. Okay, it's a treasure island. It's Madagascar because uh, because it's got so much treasure in, in, on, on, on the island. Okay, but the people, okay, uh, hang on, I gotta jump down this cliff real quick. Okay, so the people in Madagascar, uh, <clears throat> they, by and large, they're very poor people. Okay, very poor. Uh, most most people in, in Madagascar live on, on less than $1.75 a day. Okay, a lot of people, like 80% of people live on less than $2 a day. Okay, so that's very, you know, and there's not much economic opportunity. And maybe people got, maybe they got them a, a little, um, a little rice paddy, okay, or or a little bit of forest they are collecting their uh, <clears throat> their livelihood from. And it, and this, you might say, hey, that sounds pretty cool, okay, and maybe that is pretty cool for some people. But they, what they're lacking is um, options, economic options, and <clears throat> and economic opportunities, okay. So here come, here come the rocks, okay? Because <laughs> just like how I'm saying, hey, if I dig some rocks, I can make a little money, okay? And the Mad Madagascar, uh, they they saying the same thing. They saying, hey, we need some money, uh, and we got these rocks, and maybe we and maybe they're worth some money, okay? But here's the key, here's the critical, okay? So when I'm digging rocks. I can dig rocks, and then I take them, I sell them to the customer, okay? And the customer pays a lot of money for these rocks. But the Madagascar, poor rural people from Madagascar, they don't have that same option, okay? They can't just bring <clears throat> bring their rocks uh, to, to a Western market, okay? Because that's going to take a lot of uh, money to ship rocks overseas. That's going to take visas, you know? How How is a... Is a is a rural, a rural Madagascar farmer, you know? How are they going to uh, to 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 sell sell this to find the person that wants to pay some money for this? Okay, that's a, that's very challenging. Okay, it, to the point of I would say uh, an impossibility. Okay, I would say that that's nearly impossible uh, for them to 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 be able to sell many of these rocks. And and so and so. He's a middleman, okay? The middleman. All right, and what the middleman's up to, okay? He's not mining. He's not. He's not a miner, okay? No, his hands are clean, okay? He's a. He's just buying rock from from the poor Madagascar, and and he's and he, then he's shipping it all the way to the U.S. of A. 
and he's selling it. Okay, and then this dude, he can sell that rock. <laughs> he can sell that rock how much he wants. Okay, because this is good. This is pretty. Oh man. Oh man, it's pretty rock, okay. And the people, the people, they want that rock, okay. So the 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 uh, the gem lord, okay, the American or the uh, the European gem lord, they kind of like the new face of colonialism in Africa, okay, because they going over there. You know what they, okay. In Tucson, I work for a dude, okay. I work for a dude. I work for one of these gem lords, okay, Austrian gem lord, okay. And he went to Madagascar, and he's buying rocks. And he bringing it back, and he's selling it wholesale, baby, wholesale. Okay, so dirt cheap. He cutting everyone's throat on the lock, because he's selling the cheapest rock. He's selling one of these, one of these is selling maybe four bucks, okay, four bucks for the little thing, okay, okay. But he's selling thousands of pounds of these little things, okay. He's making mint, okay. But you know what he's paying in Morocco? Or, oh, sorry, 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 Madagascar. You know what he, you know what the, uh, the gem lord is paying for the rock, for this? For this, he's probably paying five cents. Okay, five cents. Maybe, maybe eight, eight cents worth of rock right here. Okay, and that's not very much rock. Okay, and then he turned around, he's selling that. He's making money. Okay, he's making, he's selling thousands, thousands. He's making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, and he's got expenses. Okay, he's got to put them in a shipping container. he got to send them, and then you got to pay people like me uh, to uh, to do his dirty, <laughs> you know, to sell, sell the rock. But, but... This dude, he's making, he's making mint, you know, and he ain't paying me good. No, he ain't paying me good. And I know he ain't paying the Madagascar miners good. Okay, because the Madagascar miners, now this is mining, okay, and this is, now we're talking third world mining, okay, and that's the thing, okay, that's dangerous, okay, people dying all the time. They're going down these little mine shafts, and they ain't built in a, in a, uh, you know, the strong, they, they don't know how to build a mine shaft, okay, they're just going in, and they look for this rock, because they say they need it, because they're trying to eat. Okay, they're desperate. Okay, they're they're willing to work for 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 pennies because they're going down in these deep dark holes. Oftentimes these dark holes they collapsing. Okay, everybody's dying. Other times, other times they don't collapse, but the miners they don't find nothing. Okay, and then they find nothing, they get nothing. Okay, so then they're working. You got a ten person crew working these little holes, right? And 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 they're working twenty four hours a day. They're going round the clock down in earth, down deep in there, deep. Okay, deeper than my mind shaft. Deep. We we talking real deep my chap okay and they digging this stuff and uh and yeah it's a real deal okay so so check this out in in 2020 uh uh 2020 uh uh there, there was a, a barrel discovery this is just one example okay i was reading an article about this in this little town in madagascar barrel okay that's a special kind of rock that's what they make uh, uh that, that's what an emerald uh, okay or an aquamarine is a barrel and they're really pretty and they move a lot of money Okay, you can get you get some good money from the barrel. Okay, but this is a little town in town in Madagascar. They find some barrel. Okay, in 2020. Okay, articles written six months ago. So in in a year and a half, a year and a half, 60,000 miners show up. 60,000 people, desperate, desperate miners from all over Madagascar, and they're just, they're trying to feed their family, okay, they're just trying to get theirs, but the people in town, they get overrun, everyone, they lose, they lose their little farm, they lose their little, um, the, the, the livelihood, the, the rice field, you know, because everybody, all these miners just show up and just start digging everywhere, and then, and then there's violence, okay, then there's violence, the miners are fighting each other, and then the police are trying to, because they get, they, they, they won't get theirs too, so they come in and they blazing away, and they're trying to steal the rock, okay, and next thing you know, there's gun battles in this little town. Okay, 60,000 people. They got no water. Okay, this is, a, oh, the town turns into an open toilet. Okay, just everybody's pissing, shitting everywhere in the mine site. The whole town is just a bunch of holes. Everything's collapsing. You know, a lot of people, they ain't even finding shit. They, they're here for, for months, you know, and they're not where, they, and they're not getting paid at all. Okay, and then and then there's all these other people that show up. You know, there's a bunch of uh, entrepreneurs. There's a bunch of sex workers. Uh, there's a bunch of bandits. You know, and it just turns into a real nasty, um, you know, the, the whole town is 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 gone, is gone, and um, and so that's that's just one that's just one little town in Madagascar. But this, you know, this pretty, so now we got these we got pretty rocks, okay. And this is going to be coming from a different. This is a you know labradorite is less valuable than a barrel. So this, in order for people to make ends meet, people are just 
digging so much of it, okay? They're moving whole mountains. They're moving thousands of pounds of rocks, and they're getting paid almost nothing. And then they're having to split it with everyone they move with, you know, because mining, you can't do that by yourself, okay? That's a that's an operation that takes a lot of people. you got to move heavy rocks. you got to be, you know, building these things, watching out for each other, okay? And and, and, and these families, they're just getting, they're, they're so, they're getting so taken advantage of Okay, just because they don't have the capital, okay, because we live in a society of capitalism, it's similar to property ownership, where um, if, if you own the thing, capital, then it is good, and you can do m many such things. And if you don't have, uh, if you have no capital, um, then it's a real big problem, and you've, you're probably going to die young, you know, you're probably not going to be able to support your family, uh, you, you, you're going to be living in a state of constant stress, and uh, <laughs> and that's how it goes. If you don't, if you're born in, you're good. If you're born without, if you're born a poor Malagasy uh, 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 rice farmer in Madagascar, you it makes sense that you 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 hear about these these jam rushes that they got, okay? And then you're trying to get your gems, okay? Because because everybody's real poor, and this is this is hard scrabble, okay? And and. And we saw that in this country with the um, with the with the gold rush, uh, several different gold rushes actually we've had in the U.S. of A. Uh, and they've been, you know, the history of the Wild West is a very violent history against the native people and against the landscape. But the <clears throat> gold rushes, they kind of deserve their own like extra level of. Uh, note in that direction. They were very, incredibly violent, incredibly destructive, um, incredibly um, wasteful of human life, not not just the, the native lives that were pushed around, but also most of the miners are, are just dying, okay? They, they, <coughs> it's a bad deal. And that's what's going on in Madagascar right now with, this, with these rocks, okay? Cause, and why do people want these rocks? These rocks that people want is because they've got the, meta, the fit, fit of medical pr properties, okay, the meta, meta, fit, metaphys rock, okay, and then, so all these metaphys people, they're saying, hey, yeah, I'll do, if I get labradorite, okay, that's going to, that's going to open up my third eye, and that's going to uh, cure my indigestion, and that's going to uh, fix some respiratory problems, and that's going to bring me a better lover, and that's going to, um, <laughs> that's going to make me a more efficient worker and part of a team, and they're saying all these things about labradorite, okay, and everybody's saying, yeah, I want those, I want a better lover, okay, give me the lab. Give me that. Give me the magic rock, okay? But that's a <clears throat> so everybody's buying the magic rock, but they buying it from the gem lord, okay? They buying it from the Austrian, the evil guy, the gem lords. They got They're making the money. And meanwhile, on his rock, and is he buying this rock? Oh, that's a nice rock. There's blood on it, okay? There's there's blood. There's death. Uh, there's a lot of sweat and toil that's uh, not being uh, recom recompensated uh, the the way that that you would uh, <clears throat> that you would want it to uh, if, if it was a magic rock. Uh, which it is, you know, magic, hey, magic rock, uh, but, uh, <clears throat> but you see, um, the, I wasn't finished, it's just something else, I was going to say back there, hey, this is nice, hey, this is really nice, okay, that's pretty cool, I wonder where my dog is, hey, Ramona, Okay, so it's a pretty brutal history, okay? What happened in the Wild West with the rocks, what happened in Madagascar, what is currently very quickly happening in Madagascar. Because check this out. From 2017 to 2018, uh, the uh, the rock market doubled in the U.S. This was called, uh, Magic Rocks is called the biggest health and wellness trend. Uh, in America. Okay, this is huge business. This is billions of dollars that we're talking. And it happened, um, you know, okay, so gold, and then they had the same thing with diamonds, okay? You've heard about blood diamonds. You heard about Sierra Leone. There's some there's some um, acknowledgement of that, and I think that's a big problem, but I think there are also some industry standards that have been developed uh, to try to... Uh, <clears throat> not kill so many miners for so little money and to uh, be a little bit more equitable in a way that the, uh, the, 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 the diamond mining in particular is done. But, but Labradorite, no. There's no regulations. Okay, you know, the, those barrels, those aquamarines I'm talking about, no, 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 no regulations. Nobody's asking, uh, are these uh, <coughs> ethically sourced? You know, are these, uh, were there child miners mining this? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, there's child miners mining this. Okay, see this? 
it's pretty, but that's a that's from a child miner. Okay, that's that's <laughs> and mining, like I say, very dangerous work. A lot of children are dying in the mine shafts every day. Okay, every day there are thousands, there are hundreds of thousands of people right now in Madagascar that are pinning their their livelihood and just saying, "Damn, I got no other option. I got to do something. This dude's gonna pay me six cents a pound for rose quartz. I'll, I'll take it." Okay, you know, and that's that's hard because this is back country. This is they don't have machinery. They're doing all this by hand. They're getting it out of the back country by hand or by primitive primitive transportation. Um and uh and and, and, and again, no regulations. So, uh you know, <laughs> I'm a squatter, okay? I'm not the biggest guy on on regulation. Okay, I wouldn't say I'm a uh a regulatory guy, okay. I would say I'm a non-regulatory guy, but <clears throat> but with with this, if there's no, if the consumers, if the consumers, so the consumers kind of could regulate it, right? The consumers could say, uh, no, I only want to uh, have a, the labradorite that uh, comes that the that the actual family mining is making the profit off of. Okay, I don't want the gem lords to be the profit guys. I would I would like to be supporting a, a third world economy. Um, for its natural resource, um, and, and, oh, yeah, it's nice up here. Okay, but the market, they, they don't work that way, because to do that, you know, then, then you're going to be paying a little bit more. Okay, and the people, I've seen the people there, they don't, they ain't asking questions about where this is from. What they're asking questions about is how much, how much I get that magic rock for. I'm going to resale it, make even more. <laughs> That's what the people say. And they ain't asking, hey, uh, you know, who, who's, who's blood, who's sweat, who's turmoil uh, is, uh, is upon us. Uh, encapsulated in, in, in the rock. You know, that's not, they, they ain't asking that question. Okay, they asking, hey, there's little Mona. Hey, Mona, what you doing up there? Okay, that's Mona dog. Okay, um, <coughs> so in the absence of consumers regulating their own industry and saying, no, no, I want to know, I want to see the picture of the family. I want to know, I want to have a connection with, with these miners and, and, you know, but that's, like I say, that ain't existing. Um, so short of that, I think maybe, maybe some sort of industry regulation, um, or, or at the very least, um, you know, knowledge, talking about it, because maybe rocks come up in conversation with, with you and yours, and maybe they're talking to, hey, do rocks have magical powers? I heard someone say, rocks have magical powers, I'm not so sure, okay, and maybe, maybe, maybe you can take a lead, you now, you know, interject a little bit into that conversation, hey, you know where most of those rocks come from is Madagascar, and they very underpaid, okay, you got your tigers out, that's from South America, South, South Africa, South Africa, okay, you got blue ace agate, that's from Namibia, okay, that ain't a place with a lot of money, okay, Namibia, so the same thing's probably happening there, and then you get all your amethysts from South America, okay, and, uh, you know who's profiting off the, uh, the Australian <laughs> amethyst trade is that, uh, that, that, uh, what's his name, the, the fascist dictator man that they got in Australia, okay, he's making money on that, but you think the miners are making money on that? I don't know, man, I don't know, I, <laughs> I've been around this world enough to know that, uh, <laughs> dudes making the money are the dudes with the money, okay, because you get a little bit of money, and then you make the money, okay, and, and, and this is a problem for for poor Madagascar miners that have no money because they're being killed in these mines. No regulation, no real attention drawn upon it. Um, you know, it's a very shady industry, and um, and I'm I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to say that I, I've I've been a big part of this industry. Okay, I've never been to Madagascar, but I, like I say, I've I've worked selling some of this rock, and I've purchased some of this rock, and I've resold some of this rock, okay? So does that make me culpable? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that makes me culpable, okay? So now now we've established culpability. Um, and that's a bad, you know, that doesn't reflect, that's not, that's not something I'm proud of, okay? That's not something I'm proud of, but everybody, I'm just, just trying to get by, okay? But also maybe we can, we can at least bring a little attention to it, talk about it. And, and think about these these Madagascars who's w working real hard, and they and it's a bad deal. Okay, so over and out.